Here are the video solutions for NCFE Level 2 Functional Skills Maths and this is Section A which is the non-calculator part and this is Practice Paper 2. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at question number one. So you want to work out the total profit or loss um, when we factor in the individual profit or loss of each item. Well first of all let's work out the profit she's made from the item she's made a profit from. So that's the blue bowl, the set of teaspoons and the lamp. So that is £2.85 plus £4.95 and £2.70. So the profit she's made from these three items, 5 plus 5, put a decimal point um, before we go any further, 5 plus 5 is 10, 0 carry 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, 18, 25 carry 2, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So she's made a profit of £10.50, but she's made a loss on these two items, so the total loss she's made is 5.35 and 4.25. 5 plus 5 is 10, 0 carry 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, so in total she's, uh, well overall she's made a profit uh, because uh, £10.50 is greater than £9.60. What is the difference between these two amounts? Well there's 40p to take me up to £10 plus another 50p to take me up to £10.50 so that is a 90 pence profit so £0 and 90p. Okay, part B. Okay, so this is quite a challenging one. So there's various ways you could do this, but for me, I see 17.5% as that is a 10% plus 5% plus 2.5%. And the reason I find this quite handy is um, that 5% is half of 10% and 2.5% is half of 5%. So first of all, what is 10% of 155 pounds? Well, that is 155 divided by 10 which is £15.50. So therefore 5% is going to be £15.50 divided by 2. So we might need to use a bus stop here. 15 divided by 2 is 7 with a remainder of 1. 15 divided by 2 is 7 with a remainder of 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 5% 5 is £7.75. So therefore 2.5% that's going to be £7.75 divided by 2, 7.75, put a decimal point above. 7 divided by 2 is 3, remainder 1. 17 divided by 2 is 8, remainder 1. 15 divided by 2 is uh, 7, remainder 1, so put in a 0 so I can put the 1 on it. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So let's just round that up to £3.88. So therefore 17.5% is going to be uh, £15.50 plus £7.75 plus £3.88. Put in a decimal point, 5 plus 8 is 13, carry 1. 7 plus 8 is 15, 20, 21, carry the 2. 10, 15, 16, 17, carry the 1. So uh, £27.13. So 17.5%, that is a profit of £27.13 so therefore she'll need to um, sell the item for £27.13 more um, so sorry I forgot what it was 155 so that is 155 plus £27.13 so that is 13p left over um, sorry 13p um, plus 5 plus 7 is 12, 2 carry 1, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, 1 plus nothing is 1. So £182.13. Okay, so let's take a look at part C. So um, it says here the line drawn marks the prices where Hannah makes no profit or loss. So for example, uh, this point here, she's paid £10, sold it for £10. So any dot above the line means it's been sold for a higher price than it was bought for. Let's take a look at this one. Well, actually, this one's nice and easy. She's bought it for five pounds and she sold it for seven. So above the line equals uh, profit. Below the line equals loss. So how many items did she make a profit on? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of how many? Well, so there's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So she's made a profit 
on 8 out of 20, she thinks she's made a profit on more than half, or 8 out of 20 is uh, less than half because half of 20 is 10. She's only made profit on 8 of them. So uh, is she correct? No, she is wrong. Okay, so part uh, D. So the first thing I'm going to do is to convert the 0 0.2 ounces into grams. So we know that one ounce is 28 grams. So 0 0.2 ounces is going to be 0 0.2 times by 28. Well, 2 times by 28 is 56. So 0 0.2 times 28 is 5.6 grams. Uh, maybe you need to do um, a column method for that. So the total weight of the, um, the gold is 5.6 plus 3.9. 6 plus 9 is 15, carry the 1. So that is 9.5 grams of um, gold. And we know it's 18 pounds per gram, so our final uh, our next calculation, uh, I'm not sure if it's the final one or not, is going to be 9.5 multiplied by um, 18 pounds. So I'm just going to do 18 times by 95, first of all. Uh, 8 times 5 is 40, 0 carry the 4. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 4 is 76. And this is the one of 10, so put in a zero. One times five is five, and one times nine is nine. Add these together, I get 11. Uh, so that is 1710. So 9.95 times by 18 is 1710. So therefore, 9.5 times by 18 is going to be this number here with one decimal place, so 171.0. In other words, 100 and 71 pounds. Okay, so um, we will she make a profit? Well, she's bought them for uh, these prices here. So 75, 25 plus 65 pounds 50. 25 plus 50, that's a 75. Five plus five is 10, carry one. Seven plus six plus one is 14. So she, uh, so she buys, for 140 pounds 75 sells for 171 pounds what's the question um, will she make a profit so yes she will make a profit because 171 is greater than 140 pounds 75 okay so um, so the part e here so what we've been told is that six toy cars have been sold between zero and 9.99. Well, maybe they were all sold for zero, or maybe they were all sold for 9.99. So what all we can do is just assume that they were all sold for the midpoint. Now, we could be very particular and work out the midpoint of 9.99 and zero, but I think it's a lot easier if we just simply just call it five pounds, um, as if it was the halfway point between zero and 10. So five pounds, 15 pounds, 25 pounds and 35 pounds. Now, if six cars have been sold for an estimated amount of five, that means their total is going to be 30. So here I'm working out, uh, if I call this the F column, normally this is written as frequency. So this is frequency times the midpoint. So whenever you, you've got an estimated mean, you're gonna to need to work out the midpoint and a frequency times midpoint, so two separate columns and we're multiplying across here. Five times 15 is 75, six times 25 is 150, and three 35s are 105. Um, if you can't do those in your head, then of course just do a column method. So now I just need to work out um, the total, the estimated total of all of these items. 30 plus, actually I'm, I'll just do it column by column. So zero plus five plus zero plus five is 10, carry the one, five, uh, okay, 7 plus 3 is 10, 15, 16, carry 1, 1, 2, 3. So 360 pounds is the estimated total. How many items were there? Uh, 6 plus 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20. Okay, so 360 divided by 20 is the same as 36 divided by 2. So that is an estimated uh, mean of 18 pounds. Okay, and now the final question. So the probability of making a profit is 0 0.2. So the probability of not making a profit is one take away 0 0.8, which is 0 0.2. So the probability of the 
and the next item not making a profit followed by the one after that not making a profit is 0 0.2 times by 0 0.2. 2 times 2 is 4, but we want an answer which has two decimal places, so that will be 0 0.04. And that is the end of section A.